What's up, all my nerd friends out there? This is Mr. Chili here, and we got to talk about some My Hero Academia. Finally, some crazy shit finally happened. Some great shit finally happened to My Hero Academia. For the past couple chapters, I didn't like how they're rocking Shigaki as a main villain. I like Shigaki a lot. But the way they're doing it, trying to change him to be good, trying to make him um, stop being bad guy, that goes the typical showing thing, turn the villain to a good guy stuff. I like the ending that Shigaki chose to be the villain still. He chose to be the villain, but I guess it backfired on him as well. As well. Because during this last chapter, uh, go check out my video, I made a video about that, that I guess that awful one was secretly playing, planting seeds all along in his life, Shigaraki. And planning this moment to happen. Because who gave him that quirk? That was a good, interesting, like, that was a good twist. I didn't see that coming, actually. That Shigaraki got this quirk from All For One. All For One was a creepy, freaking, he's a creepy-ass damn freaking supervillain. Now, he's the main, main villain because he, in his life, when Shigaraki was a little kid, I guess, got lost. And he decided to um, plant um, his power because he know you could pass powers that, that, that. I guess the decay power on to Shigaraki and start this whole transaction. He knew, because remember that her, his grandmother, Shigaraki's grandmother, is the one that fought all for one. So he already knew who his, his family found her, fa found her family, found her son, then started the seeds little by little and causing Shigaraki's basically life to be hell. And damn, that sucks. Like, all, uh, Shigaraki looked up to all for one. For a long time as his sensei's master, but he's the one that ruined his life. That caused his powers to go haywire. That gave him this disease power to kill his family and all that shit. It's like, damn, Shigar awful one's a freaking dick to Shigaki. So you know, somehow, some way, Shigaki is gonna come back in this and try and get his body back from Awful One. Because Awful One was able to take control back from Shigaki. He looks sick as hell. Uh, in Shigaki's body, he's full powerful, back at it. He was the main villain this whole time. So, Shigaki's gone for now. We, I don't know if he's coming back, but I'm probably, pretty sure he's going to come back and team up with Deku. Somehow they got to stop or whatever. But now Deku got kicked out of Shigaki, and his body looked bad. He lost both his arms. Like, dude, there's a lot of shit happening right now in this chapter. In 419, it's like, Deku's down for the count right now. Not, not down, down, but he... I don't know what you do. He lost both his arms. Like, whoa, he lost both his arms. And then th this 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 was a good chapter. I like the chapter because now we know who's the main villain, the big baddie. All for one still around. That's what shows him he's still the big baddie of this whole damn story. Because after all the shit he went through, all the he destroyed his main body. I guess that seed he still planted in Shigaki still was active. And he was a master, master plan to this whole damn thing. Gave Shigaki the power, power. He knew this was going to happen. And now he's OP, powerful, and he's ready to destroy the world, be the main villain of this story. But what came at the end of this chapter got me afraid. And because I hate this. This is what I hate. That's why I wish there was a time jump already, a big time jump where these kids who are older and they won't be able to look. And it won't be that bad because. Guess who decided to save Deku from all for one attack is basically the, his friends, his school friends. A guy, one of the school kids that has a tail, one of the school kids that has tape powers, whatever. And one of the school kids that has, um, they eat sugar and he, when he eats sugar, he gets to become more stronger. And I, I, I'm saying these kids, I don't care about their names. Like I said, these, his friends are not that interesting to me. Deku's friends. The only one I care about is Baku, uh, Gravity Girl and, uh, to, uh, Shoto. Those are the only ones I care about through the whole thing, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, maybe, um, I think his name is Yami or, uh, the one that has a dark, uh, raven power or whatever, the dark, uh, dark powers that one of his friends, maybe him too. But yeah, his friends are not that interesting to me. I'm a League of Villains guy. I love the villains of this story. So seeing they're coming to help fight, to help protect Deku, and uh, probably more kids could come down the line, more people. Who knows? Could come down to help out. Hopefully, more teachers, not kids, because I don't like kids jumping in this fight. I don't like standing up to now an all powerful Shigaraki and um, all powerful, awful one in Shigaraki's body. He is super strong, better than his old body used to have. All one 
these kids don't even stand a chance. They shouldn't stand a chance. And that's what even he said it all for one says, wow. When the tape guy grabbed his arm, he says, dude, I, I guess I, I said, wow, you got me. I, I, I couldn't notice a fly. That's why my fault. <laughs> that's my bad. I didn't notice a fly got me. Like he, he was, these were flies to him. These guys, these kids are insects. And if these survive, like, I don't want kids to die and everything, but they're going against big boys like this. Like, if Naruto was able to kill Ninji off, I think some kids are able to get killed off as well. The same, the same. Um, like, that's why I say I want them to be adults. I wish their adults could be more hardcore in this. And this is supposed to be right now. All for one is this big baddie now. This big villain. They got to show he's this big villain. They got to show it. I know he's been doing a lot of battles already, but now he's in his new body. He's trying, uh, now it's time to take down some people. And a lot of people are already done with the fight, fight with the count. But guess who else is here? I guess he's going to use a little cheat code because he, he stops powers. Uh, is Eraser. But I think he might die, actually. Eraser is here. Ozawa, I think his name is Ozawa. Ozawa. Um, Eraser is here. But a little twist in that end as well. Guess what he comes out of? Uh, Kagari. Kagari. The one that could teleport that worked with the League of Villains. And hopefully I said his name, name name right too. Forgive me if I mispronounce anyone's name. I'm not that great with name. I just try my best. So please forgive me. But anyways, Eraser is coming out of Kagari. So that means the remember that Eraser is uh Kagari is the best friend of uh, uh present Mike and uh Eraser best friends when they were kids, but got turned into what he is now by all for one. So Maybe they're able, able to convince Calgary who he was, turn him against, uh, turn him against the League of Villains, and work with the heroes now. That's gonna be a little good story. I bet you we're gonna find out next chapter right there that Calgary tell uh, teleport Eraser to the fight to help um, Deku against All for One. But what's gonna happen now? Who is left to help stop All for One? A lot of the heroes, like I said, are down for the count. Uh, Deku is gonna probably get somehow, some way, maybe generate his um, generate his arms back. Or some of the all for one, I um, mean, one for all users and then inside them to help them somehow get back on speed to stop all, all for one. There's gonna be a lot of things, there's a lot of things are gonna happen now. I wonder what's gonna happen. Gonna, now, My Hero Academia is very interesting now. To me, it got more interesting now. Because first, well, I, I didn't like the whole sh try and turn Shigaki into a good guy and get into his mind thing power. I know I want a one on one fight. Now we're gonna get a lot of heroes try to jump off one again. And stop them. I don't want the kids to do it because if because seeing kids fight an all powerful beam, a lot of these weak kids to me they're not they're not that super strong. That to me they're not that super strong, and survive the fight against this monster because you know the part not gonna die. I I can't see the writer, um, basically killing off kids. I, I could be wrong. Who knows? I, I kind of want how this fight to turn out. It's not gonna turn out that dark because Jujutsu Kaisen. We see how Sukuna is body everybody. And killing bodies as well. Like, do we only know who's gonna survive? When he, who, whoever goes against Sukuna is basically most like like 50 50 could live or die. Literally. During Jujutsu Kaisen's last stories, their last big fight with Sukuna, all the sorcerers to fight him, anyone could die. I want that same thing for my hero academia. I know I'm not gonna get that because it's more childish and more, um, not that dark as Jujutsu Kaisen, my hero academia, but that's how. All for one should be like Sukuna right now. Should be. The big baddie. It will take some down. Like there should be some death. Like I, yeah, there has been no death for hero hero except for Ed Shaw. I mean a big name. Like we need a big name. Maybe a racer would die. Probably. I think maybe a racer will die. Um because I bet you all for one will be pissed. Like I'm I'm done. I don't I don't I hate your powers. You keep stopping my powers. I'm gonna figure out I'm gonna race I'm gonna, I'm gonna race you. Use his use Shigaki's decay power and racism. <laughs> Probably that's going to happen. That's going to suck. But right from uh, freaking um, Deku, that would hurt him. Like his sensei, that's Deku's uh, teacher. So, yeah, that would be pretty crazy. I mean, All Might will die in this part. Probably not because I think he will die a long time ago. But I think a racer might bite the dust. Someone, I have a feeling someone's going to bite the dust. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. We'll see. But comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts on all what's happening in My Hero Academia in Chapter 419. That awful one's back now. He has the Shigaki's body. He was the uh, mastermind behind uh, Shigaki's life. His, he ruined his life. He gave him that power. Basically got his family, um, Shigaki's family killed and destroyed. He basically ruined um, Shigaki's life. But that's what the main villain does. The main villain 
is a mastermind. The master, he planned all this out. So now we have the big baddie right here. Off one. Comment below. Give me you guys all your thoughts on this chapter. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good day and a good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.